Local new at 6, our ABC 15 investigators broke the story, now getting national and even international attention. A Phoenix officer handcuffing and detaining a Wall Street Journal reporter after interviewing people outside a bank. Police have not released body camera footage, but a bystander recorded what happened on her own cell phone. And tonight, ABC 15 chief investigator Dave Biscobings got an exclusive interview with that woman, and her story raises even deeper questions, both with what police did that day and what they're claiming now. He's he I heard him say he was going to leave. This is ridiculous. He's a reporter and I heard him say he was going to leave. The voice you hear is that of Caitlin Parody. You know, I feel really strongly that no one should have been treated like that and that um, and that, like I said, it was racist and also really concerning given that, you know, he is a journalist. You absolutely did not need to cuff him. But before we get back to this recording, let's start from the beginning of what Caitlin saw. And as I walked in, um, you know, Dion, who I didn't know was Dion at the time, was standing outside and he identified himself as a reporter with the Wall Street Journal and asked me, you know, if I'd be interested in participating in a story. Um, I asked him a little bit more about the story. I decided I didn't want to participate. You know, we had a perfectly cordial, nice interaction, and I went inside. So so he was very clear with you up front. You said it was cordial, no issue with you. No, and I went inside, and when I got inside, I saw, I was like filling out my deposit form um, before I walked up to the, to the teller, and I saw a police officer talking to the bank manager. This is ridiculous. This is the most obscene thing I think I've ever seen. That's why she started to get a bad feeling, one she said was confirmed when she got back outside. What made you think like, hey, you know what? I'd better, you know, go stand over there and capture this video. It was, it, I mean, it was just so egregious that to me that they were handcuffing a reporter and that it happened at the speed at which it happened. Caitlin and Dion both believe it's likely that her recording kept him from being arrested. And in Officer Caleb Zimmerman's incident report, he wrote that Dion committed trespassing, that there was probable cause to arrest him. The officer also claimed bank employees told Dion to leave, something the reporter says is not true. My husband's a journalist. He's also white, as am I. And I, in that moment, I just knew that he wouldn't be in handcuffs if things had gone the same way. Her husband does not work for ABC 15 or the Wall Street Journal. Now, Caitlin's recording also raises additional concerns, like the officer threatening to arrest her. I'm fine where I am. I'm not doing anything wrong. You want to get arrested as well? I think like most people, I wasn't very clear on what my rights actually were. I knew it was important to record what, what was happening um, regardless. I heard him say he would leave and he was literally not doing anything. When backup arrived, another officer wrongly told her she had to be at least eight feet back. Why are you standing on his back like that? I was standing up? here. He just walked up here. I was standing stand here. Okay. You're going to stand back here. Okay. At least eight feet, just like the law states. There's no reason for you to stand like that next to him. Well, he, I, I was up He's there recording the, the conversation. Of him. Okay, I'm here. I do what you asked. I'm out there literally doing my job. And The reporter told us he filed a complaint and got a call weeks later saying the officer did nothing wrong. Caitlin told us she also filed one. You actually also called in a complaint? Yes, I called the uh, the Standards Bureau, but they called me back and told me that the investigation was closed, that they had found no wrongdoing, and that the officer had probable cause. Now that contradicts statements from Phoenix. They claim it's under internal investigation and has been since November 28th. The problem, both the reporter and Caitlin say, they got calls telling them it was closed and nothing was wrong weeks after that. We asked Phoenix to explain the discrepancy, and this is what they just emailed us. Quote, the administrative process began on November 28th. The investigation remains open and was never closed. I think there's a track record with the police department um, that this unfortunately falls in line with, you know, a part of a pattern um, of, of really, really poor, really aggressive and really racist policing. I'm investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15, Arizona. Find all of Dave's reporting on the case, including the story he first broke on ABC15.com forward slash investigators or watch on demand on the ABC 15 streaming app.